Would you look at all those vehicles? Six vehicles today. You know what? Let's just roll that intro. Here we go. What is up, what is up, what is up, FS Club? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Monday is here, so you guys know what that means. That means mods are back, and wow, did we get some mods today. But anyways, before we even get started, you know guys know what to do. Make sure you guys put in the comment section below, hashtag FS Consoles. You know what, here we go. On all platforms, we got the Lizard D83, the Sapphire Granite 28160 Old, the John Deere 7000 Planner, Rotary Grid, VST Ruck PT600, the New Holland 8030 Brazil, the Brower Series 6 Edition, the Voltra T Series, the New Holland T6 Series, the Bergman TSW 7340s, the K Skid Steer Pack, Portable Liquid Storage Tank, Multi Purpose Warehouse, and also Les Chazettes, which is a new map on consoles. Updates, <laughs> we got a lot of updates too. We got updates to the Roland Pack. The New Holland T8, Solid Fork, the GE17240, the NMC Fuel Tank, the Small Liquid Tank, Grid Quid Storage, Fuel Storage, Manure Cell Point, Liquid Silo, Shed Pack, Silo Facility, Wash Station, Brick and Metal Fences Pack, and taco stand wow that is a lot so let's just go over these mods this video might be kind of long so here we go okay the first one we got is my favorite kind of trailer this is the lizard d83 16 slots 16,500 holds up to 17,460 liters and what i mean by these trailers i mean dolly trailers you guys know how much i love dolly trailers but anyways these do look nice where can you find these Let's go over here. Let's go under tools. Let's go under right there. Trailers all the way at the very end. And there it is right there. Uh, let's see options, main color, any color you could think of. Design color, any color you could think of. And rim color, any color you could think of. Configurations, capacity 8720. I love how whenever every single time you do the configuration, it pops it all the way back to the top. So you have to go back down again. Uh, let's see 15450. 16700, 17460. Then you also got the bail loading wagon, another bail loading wagon, and then back to the regular. Then wheel brand Lizard 1, Lizard 2, Lizard 3, Trailborg. Lizard 1, you have narrow, twin wheels, narrow. Lizard 2, narrow, twin wheels. I think that's all the same on these. Yes. Uh, then bars, you have either standard, red bars, and then let's see sides, you have flat. You have wavy, attachers, mud flaps, which you can see back there, trailer hitch, attacher back and mud flaps, and then no. Fenders, you have metal, you have plastic, and that is it on that one. A lot of options on that one, actually. Okay, so there is the Lizard D83. Next one right here is the Sapphire Granite 28160 Old. Three slots. $500. It says 0 0.2 meters, but this looks more like a 2.0 meter. But anyways, where can you find this? Let's go under, I believe it's subsoilers. And there it is right there. It does require 70 horsepower, but options on it is nothing. But as you guys can see right over there, it says 0 0.2 meters. I don't think that's 0 0.2 meters. I think it's actually 2 meters. But there is that right there. Okay, the next one. Remember how we didn't have any John Deere planters? Now we actually have two John Deere planters. And this is the John Deere 7000 planter. Four slots, $10,250, 6.0 oh working meters. Really nice little planters right here. Uh, where can you find these ones? Let's go over here. Let's go under planters. All the way at the very end. There it is right there. It does require 100 horsepower. Holds up to 360 liters of seed. And that is it. Uh, let's see options there is none on this one so there's that one next one we have is rotary grid two slots 8500 2.0 working meters and what this is let's go over here let's go actually under where is it at power harrows which we really don't get many of them and there it is right there 85 horsepower main color you can change it to any color you want but that is it on the options on that one okay 
Here we go into the vehicles. There is quite a lot of vehicles today. Okay, first one we have, this is the VST Rook PT600. 11 slots, $95,000. As you can tell, not that bad on the slot count right there. Uh, but really nice American looking trucks. So let's get inside of it. Here is the inside. Let's actually, uh, let me put this thing up real quick. Let me go to help window. Okay, no options on that one. Let's hear what the horn sounds like. Not bad. And that is it on that. Okay, lights. Let's see. There's four sets of lights. Turn signals. Yep. Uh, looks like some stuff lights up on the dashboard. Okay, pretty nice little truck. Let's see. Uh, I think that steering wheel needs to be a little bit down, though. But that's like the only nitpicking thing I can see. Everything moves right there. Oh, gas pedals don't move or nothing. Gear shift don't move. Huh. Okay, but here it is right here. This one, of course, you see it does have beacons. Not bad little truck. Not bad American truck, I should say. Top speed is 55 miles an hour. Let me try to park this without hitting something. As you guys can see, all those mods back there we have to go over. Okay. So where can you find this truck? Let's go over here. Let's go under trucks. And all the way at the very end, there it is right there. It is 600 horsepower. Let's see main color, any color, design color, any color, and rim color, any color. Beacons and bumper, you have standard, you have beacons, you have bumper, you have the back to standard. You have engine, the 405, which is 405, the 550, which is 550, or the 600, which is 600, which adds an extra $90,000. Jeez, that's about the price of the whole truck. <laughs> okay, so there is that one. But that's not it on vehicles. We have more. And here it is right here. This is the New Holland 8030 Brazil. 11 slots, $12,000. Nice little tractors right here. Okay, let's get in here. I'm also just keep that help window on. Let's see if there's anything on here. Horn. Nice little horn. No options on that. Okay, let's turn it on. Okay, nice. Okay, lights. One set of lights. Two. Just two sets of lights, turn signals. Uh, let's see, is there anything on? Doesn't, doesn't look like nothing comes on the dashboard. Top speed of 19 miles an hour. Okay, make sure if anything actually, yes, stuff, the pedals move and all that good stuff. Steering wheel moves. A nice little tractor though. Very good for a starting out tractor. Okay, where can you find this tractor? Let's go over here, let's go under small tractors. And there it is right there. Let's see, options, there is none. So there is that one. The next tractor, really nice one right here. This is the Burr Series 6 Edition. This is made by Shaba, the same guy who makes La Cronella. Uh, let's see, this one, eight slots, $48,000. Uh, let's jump in it real quick. Let's see what kind of options it has right here. Doesn't have none right there. There's the horn. Ooh, this one does have some back window opens and door opens, so really nice. Okay, let's turn the engine on. Really nice. One, two, three, three sets of lights. Turn signals, let's see. Okay, make sure everything, yep, pedals all work, it looks like, yep. Top speed is 26 miles an hour. And this one is a nice one too. I don't know, but that dashboard doesn't seem right to me. What do you guys think? I don't know. It kind of looks pixelated for some reason. Okay, but anyways, there is this one. Oops, back it up. Where can you find these? Let's go over here. Let's go under small tractors. And there it is right there. You got main color, you got black, stainless steel, and chrome. Rim color, uh, greens, reds, yellows, oranges. Except for main color, I noticed when you try to change it, it only changes the uh, the pipes right there. Uh, design, no beacon light, two beacon lights, and then back to no, which it actually has one. I don't know why it says no. Uh, engine setup, 115, 135, 165. Wheel setup, standard, narrows, wides, and then back to standard. So there's that tractor. So that is it of the small tractors for today. 
The next one we got is a Voltra T series, 27 slots, $175,000. These are some nice vultures right here. Right, let's get in this one right quick. Okay, let's see. Any options on this? Yes, there is. Let's see. Back window. That one actually opens up really far. Door. Okay, let's see. Anything on that one? Yep, there's something on this one too. Let's see. The top window on the top. And also, they're changing the driving directions. They're right there. And then back to right there. Okay, let's turn it on. Everything lights up. The time is on the uh, column right there. Lights. Uh, let's see. Turn signals. There's one, two, three. Three sets of lights. Top speed is 32 miles an hour. And I just hit the other Vultra. Okay, beacons all work. It's a really nice Vultra. Okay, let's park this one. Try not to hit it again, shall we? Okay, there we go. Oops, not going that one. Go on this one. Okay, there we go. Turn that off. Where can you find these Vultras? Under medium tractors. And right there. Let's see options on it. Design color, you have a standard black logo, gold logo, and red logo. Rim color, any color. And main color, any color. Wheel brand, Trellborg. Michelin. Uh, Nikian. Trellborg, you have standard. Wheel weights, wide tires, wide tires plus weights. Narrows, rear twin wheels, twin wheels, and then back to standard. Michelin, standard, wide, and then back to standard. Interior design, gray, chrome, black, gold, which actually doesn't do anything inside. It does it on the Vultra logo. See, so watch Vultra. It's like gray, chrome right there, and then black and gold right there. Uh, engine setup, the 194, which is 210. The 234, which is 250. The 254, which is 270. So you can go up to 270 horsepower and you get front loader. Yes or no on that one. Okay, so there is that one. We also did get another one. And this is the New Holland T6 series. 47 slots, $92,000. Really nice ones right here. Mainly this one right here. Let's get in it. Let's see options on this. You got unfold tractor, which what does this do? Let's see. Oh, that just opens up the door right there. Oh, instead of having it as a right stick or anything like that, it's actually an A. Huh. Uh, let's see. What does this one do? That opens up the back window. So that one actually uses the stick. Hmm. Okay, but that is it on that. Here is the inside interior. Really nice. Lights. You have one, two, three, three lights. Beacons on the back. Turn signals. Okay, let's go in here. Let's turn the thing on. Turn signals on the there. Everything lights up. Okay, looks like everything moves. Okay, let's try this around for a second. Let's see, 32 miles an hour is its top speed. Engine sounds really good. Look at those wide, beefy tires on the back. Jeez. Like this. Okay, where can you find these? You know what? Let's actually turn this off. You can actually find this under medium tractors. And there it is right there. Let's see. Options on it. Rim color. You got white, gray, black, or silver. Design. Standard. Blue power. Fiat Agari. Black or silver. Main color. Black or standard or heritage edition. So that's pretty cool. The heritage edition. Look at that. Configurations. You have standard. 400. 600. 800. 1200. Front attacher, and then should be back to standard. Yes. Then we'll break Trellborg, Nokian, Michelin, Midas. Trellborg, you have a standard. You have reversed front tread. Oh, that's definitely different. Uh, you have wheel weights, wide tires, wide tires plus weights, extra wide. See, that's that's the beefy tires I was just talking about. Those things look awesome. Rear twin wheels, twin wheels, and then back to narrow tires, rear narrow, twin narrow tires, twin narrow wheels, and then back to standard. Lots of wheel configurations. I think it's the same thing on this one. You even have communal on this one. Uh, let's see, Michelin. Okay, it's three of those and three of those on that one. Exhaust, you have standard, you have stainless steel, stainless steel grill, both options. And then let's see, design, standard, blue power, Fitagari, heritage edition, and then back to standard. Engine setup, the 125. 
the 145, 155, 160, 165, 175, 180. So I'm going to 180 horsepower. Uh, front loader attacher, no, yes. A low console. GPS, no GPS. The NH372, the Starfire 2000, and that is it on that one. So a lot of options on that one. That's why there's so many slots on that one. Okay, so that is it of the vehicles. Let's get to the other ones. Okay, the next one, and actually we still have one more vehicle to go over in a second, but this one, this right here is the Bergman TSW 7340s. 21 slots, 92,500, 28,500 liters. See, there's the other vehicle. But what this is, of course, it is a manure spreader. Really nice manure spreader. But where can you find this one? Let's go over here. Let's go under manure spreaders. And there it is right there. It does require 180 horsepower, 24 working meters. You can also use this thing to spread some lime too. So not just manure. But where can you find, I mean, what is the options on this one? Let's see, rim color, any color. Main color, any color. You have wheel brand, Trailborg, Michelin. Trailborg, you have standard, wide tires, wide tires, then back to standard. Michelin, standard, wide, and wide. Uh, design, no movable side, as you can see right there or left movable side or right movable sign. That's pretty cool. No beacon light or right beacon light, which where does it put these beacon lights? Oh, on the back. Or uh, left beacon light or right and left beacon light. Hold on. That left beacon light looks like it's messed up a little bit. See how it's both actually? Hmm. And that is all the options on that one. Really nice little bitty um, manure spreaders. Okay, the next one we have is the K-Skid Steer Pack. 11 slots, 5,300 for this one, 60,000 uh, 60, for this one right here. I mean 53,000, not, not 5,300, that would be really cheap. Anyways, really nice skid steers. Let's get in this one. Let's pull up the options just in case there is some. It doesn't look like it. Just that, of course, horn. Okay, what's this for? Oh, you can actually open up the front door. Okay, cool. Okay, here is the inside, really nice. Okay, let me check something out. Okay, I thought maybe this would be moving, maybe the joysticks with it, but it's not. Okay, let's turn the engine on. Lights. Ooh, look at that LED bar on the top. <laughs> I like that. Top speed is 11 miles an hour. Like this one, wow. Okay, where can you find this? Let's go over here, let's go under skid steer loaders, and there they are right there, both of them right there. I'm gonna go over this one. Uh, let's see, yeah, let's go over this one real quick. Main color, you either got KCE or Case IH. Design, standard or 175th anniversary, which puts that sticker on the back. Uh, you have window configuration, standard, 60% tent, Step back to standard. You have engine set up the 280, which is 74, 280 plus, which is 111. Uh, light configurations, no beacon lights, light bar or beacon and light bar. And that is it on that one, which I believe it's the same thing on this one. Yeah, it is. Okay, so there is that. Also, this did come with a shovel, which is right here under skid steer loaders. And then all the way right there, it's 1,250, holds up to 1,250. Uh, options on that there is none on that one okay so there is that let's get to the last regular mod for today which for some reason put it all the way over here don't know why but yeah let's wait till we get over there real quick and this one right here guys this is the portable liquid storage tank one slot three thousand four hundred and twenty dollars holds up to six thousand two hundred liters of course this is you can fill this up right here uh, where can you find this? Let's go into miscellaneous. And there it is right there. It can hold, you know, your dairy, your water, your herbicide, your fuel, stuff like that. Uh, options, you got main color, any color you want. So there is that one. That is the last regular mod for today. We ha did also get one new placeable and that was it. So very, very short day on placeables. Uh, but as you guys can see, it's right over here. And this is the multi-purpose warehouse. 11 slots, $20,000. A really nice little bitty warehouse. Door opens right there. So lights probably right here. The breaker switch, yep. There it is right there. And there's also, so it's basically a drive-through one. Really nice. 
Okay, where can you find this? Let's go under placeables, under sheds, and there it is right there, and 300 degree rotation on that. Okay, so that was the new mods and everything for today. Let me know in the comment section below, guys, which one was your guys' favorite mod. I mean, it would be hard today. There is a lot of vehicles, a lot of good stuff. Like always, guys, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you have a sudden, make sure you guys do. Like always, have an all-stay, farmers. Peace.